Bueno, estamos aquí con Vincent Luis, la segunda entrevista que le vamos a hacer en nuestra vida, la primera fue aquella vez en Mallorca, eh, y bueno, le vamos a preguntar un poco por, por este año, un poco raro, eh, it's a strange year, because the, the ITU season starts later in the, in the year, but actually your target is in, uh, in a half distance, Uh, to prepare the, the World Champions, and I don't know the PTO, the first one in Las Vegas. Yes, this year is really uh, is really strange. I want to, for sure, being good for the Olympic distance and world title and everything. But um, of course, I want also to try 70.3 is um, half distance. So I've got my qualification for San George 70.3. I will see uh, if I race or not. It depends how it goes. But um, this race here in Salah will be my uh, third points for the ranking for the PTO. So I will see where it uh, puts me, but I hope to go up in the ranking and see how the season goes and, and adapt because we also have Super League. So it's a lot of races. Yeah. So I uh, understand you, you're going to be in Yokohama for the first one uh, and start the, the period of uh, qualification for Paris. Yes, so I'm going to race Yokohama in five weeks and then after that uh, I'm going to Fontromeu for, for altitude and after that I'm going to uh, Leeds, Montreal, Hamburg and um, maybe we'll see maybe a PTO race, maybe Las Vegas, maybe a Canadian Open, I don't know yet. So um, we'll see, I want to see how tomorrow is going and if I score good points maybe I'll push a bit more it's in 70 from three. Yeah, probably if the the forecast tomorrow is okay, you will be probably in the podium and with these points you get into the, the 40, 40 people, the, the first one. Yeah, I hope because in uh, Daytona I finished eighth and uh, Indian Wells second. So if I have a good race tomorrow, it, uh, it could be really good for me if I can uh, go up in the ranking. And maybe um, I want to race in the, at the end of the year, I want to race in Bahrain with uh, Martin Van Riede, we want to do a really good time to make sure we score a lot of points. So, um, how are you swapping the, the train uh, for distance like Lievin, the, the super sprint, and this one, the half? So, um, I had a really good winter and I trained a lot, a lot of volume and everything. So, I, I, I did feel that I was, I was feeling good and everything, and I really wanted to race in, um, in Lievin for the indoor race, but it's, it's really short. Yeah. And um, so, I did not do too much of specific training. I stay for Olympic distance. And so after Lievin, the day after, I start to ride my time trial bike to make sure I was ready now for Salau. But it's a, it's a really quick turnover between the races, yes. You have to adapt a lot. And after that, you, you're gonna go again, as you say, to um, uh, Font Romeo, altitude. Uh, is your typical place in altitude with the, with the Joel Filion. Uh, all the pack are gonna be in, in Font Romeo or or you are split up? No, after, so after Yokohama, uh, all the people in Australia, uh, they're coming to, to Font Romeo with us. So for me, it's really easy. I live in Girona, so it's really easy. It's two hours and I'm in Font Romeo. I want to try also Sierra Nevada, but you know, it's another one day to travel. Instead of, uh, for me, Font Romeo is really close. It's really easy. Uh, you still training with um, with uh, Martin or sometimes or, yeah. or w w and, and what do you think about the the uh, the race in Dubai of, of him? So yes, we tr we're still training with Martin. I I'm, I'm, I love to go for rides with him and everything, and we are really really good friends. So it's it's really nice to have him still around and train sometime with him. And I told him before Dubai that. Uh, He, he, he had to go for it and make sure it goes really fast because I knew the course, I knew it was fast and I knew he can beat the world record. And uh, I'm really happy for him. I told him many times that uh, for me he's one of the best in the world in all the distances and he just has to, to put this in his head. And I think now he has the confidence and he's gonna be really good. Yeah, the people who are coming from the ITU, I mean, especially the stronger in the bike are Your performance is very good in half, even uh, Leo Berger, I don't know yeah, your opinion, is very good no? the other day in Lanzarote. Yeah, Leo was really good, but you know, it's, um, 
for, for us in, in short distance, we have the engine. We know what to do and we train. We train more than the guys in long distance. We train a lot. It's just uh, the swap between the bikes that we have to learn a lot. And also the nutrition, the hydration. It's everything that we have to learn. And I think the difference is before, the guys in the short distance, they were just going one yeah. and just say, oh, I'm, I'm too good, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. But now we really prepare everything and I, I really learn a lot, I really take my time and I do a lot of sessions on the bike to make sure everything is okay. And I, I also work a lot for my nutrition. So I think now if you're a short distance athlete and you go for long distance and you are prepared, yeah, you can be really good. So the, the nutrition is, you train the nutrition, how many carbohydrates for hour, for, for example, for tomorrow, it's a fast race, three hours and a half probably. So for me, I, I start uh, training my body before Yokohama, uh, before um, Daytona, sorry, yeah. for all the carbs and everything. And I work with different people for my nutrition. So a race like tomorrow, I'm going to try to go around 140, 160 per hour. Yeah. And I trained a lot in the, and I trained a lot in the position because a lot of people, they train, but it's different if you are in the position or normal. So I trained a lot in the position to make sure I can have 140, 160 per hour and around 500 calories, 600 calories or so yeah. per hour. But uh, my stomach is good with this, so that's that's what I'm going I'm going for. I think it's enough. Uh, yes. A few years ago, the the typical was 19 or something. Uh, yeah. 120 is good. So good luck for tomorrow in in Salo, uh, and and we hope to see you in the in Yokohama, especially after after Levine. You are very very strong. Uh, and control the situation because I, I remember the the second lap or um, I mean the second uh, race yeah. you was like a, like okay the, the the first four are yeah. in the final so I, I'm gonna oh, keep tactic, yes. yeah because it is it, is very hard not to race three yes, uh, yes, yes and it's uh, if you do a little mistake it's always really hard so I was like no it's the the goal for this race in Yevin was to go at the final and be as fresh as possible yeah. so i just took everything easy before and then i was ready for the final when the others were start dying for me i was like better and better every time okay good luck in the, this long distance uh, long season for you and probably you gonna gonna stay fighting for the world title in half and in, in okay thank you muchas gracias gracias